Hello everybody, my name is Andres Ramirez. I'm Policy Director at Pacoma Beautiful and sit on the Disadvantaged Communities Advisory Group, or the DICAG. I've had the pleasure of working with staff and commissioners from the CEC for the past three years. I've been inspired by their commitment to equity and a clean energy future for the state. I would like to wish them a happy anniversary and many more years of doing energy work and representing California. Jay Dickinson, I am the Chief Consultant at the Assembly Appropriations Committee, and for two years I was the Legislative Director at the Energy Commission. Uh, I'd like to thank the Energy Commission and all its staff for all the work that you do, not just the higher profile things, but uh, issues like lighting quality standards or forecasting of energy supply and demand. You know, that work is absolutely critical to our transformation to a clean energy economy, so thank you so much for doing it. Uh, a very brief and I think funny story about the Commission is this. There was once a legislator who was very upset with the commission for things the commission had supposedly done. And as, as this legislator railed and railed to me about the commission, I realized they were not talking about the Energy Commission, but about another state agency. And so I pointed this out and the legislator looked at me and said, wait, the Energy Commission, those are the good guys, right? And I nodded my head and I said, yeah, those are the good guys. So thank you to the commission for all the good work you do. Here's to many more years of vital, challenging, and important work. Happy birthday, California Energy Commission. My name is Angelina Galitiva, and I'm the chair of the board of the California Independent System Operator. The CEC is an incredible agency with a clear vision for a path towards decarbonizing our state, which is the fifth largest economy in the world. Your programs have truly become the gold standard for the international community to follow, and we couldn't be more proud. It has been a delight and an honor to be able to work with the excellent CEC commissioners, as well as their terrific staff. I look forward to many more years of successful collaboration, and I wish each and every one the very best. Happy birthday and congratulations. Hi, this is Elliot Mainzer. I'm the new president and CEO here at the California Independent System Operator, and I wanted to wish all of the people of the California Energy Commission a very happy 45th anniversary. Congratulations on this tremendous milestone. I'm relatively new back here to California uh, and really excited to work with all of you. I've been a, a huge fan and big admirer of the Energy Commission for many years. A number of friends have worked there, had a chance to meet some of your previous commissioners, and I just couldn't be more excited to have been getting to know David and others there and, and building a strong foundation for a great working relationship here in California. So you guys have done so much uh, for our industry and for the future of clean power. Uh, in California and couldn't be more excited to work with you in the months and years ahead. So congratulations on this uh, tremendous moment. Happy 45th anniversary and I look forward to working with all of you in the months and years ahead. All my best. Cheers. Hi, I'm Assembly Member Phil Ting. Over the past 45 years, the Energy Commission has led the charge on promoting energy efficiency, reducing energy costs, and promoting innovation. For me personally, the CEC has been a great partner in expanding electric vehicle charging stations, increasing transparency of utility admissions, and improving air and water quality in our schools. Here's a decades more of leading the nation in the clean energy trend. I'm Wayne Crowfoot, our California Natural Resources Secretary. Happy 45th birthday, California Energy Commission. Very few governmental entities have had the level of impact that CEC has had in four and a half decades. While the work that CEC has accomplished, uh, vastly changing the energy landscape uh, in scaling up and mainstreaming energy efficiency and renewable energy generation, all that is very uh, impressive. But the future of our planet relies on continued transformation of our energy sector. And California leads the way. We need to continue to show that we can actually transform our energy sector to low carbon and no carbon 
uh, while we continue to maintain economic prosperity uh, for our residents. So California leads the world and the CEC helps to lead California. So no pressure, CEC. Your next 45 years will be even more important uh, with greater accomplishments than your first 45. Uh, here's to, here's to uh, an anniversary and so much good stuff to come. USC Schwarzenegger Institute congratulates the CEC on their 45th anniversary, and we look forward to continuing to work with you in the future. Hi, I'm Fran Pavley, and my favorite moment during the past 45 years was being able to recognize Dr. Arthur Rosenfeld on the floor of the assembly as the recipient of prestig prestigious 2005 Enrico Fermi Award for his lifetime achievement in the field of energy efficiency. I learned from Dr. Rosenfeld that it's far cheaper and smarter to invest in energy efficiency than build new power plants. Congratulations, CEC. Happy birthday, California Energy Commission. Got you a present. 45 years old, congratulations. Um, I don't know what you wanna do with this, maybe put it in a museum somewhere uh, because you have truly lit the way for the future. Somehow in the, the 45 years of your existence, the state has doubled in size. And yet, thanks to the Rosenfeld effect, named after uh, the late great Art Rosenfeld, one of the godfathers of the California Energy Commission, We've managed to double in size and yet be using the same amount of power to run this state. Technology innovation is there and you've driven the policy innovation that's allowed that to happen. But human innovation is not subject to a Rosenfeld effect. There is no replacement for that one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one human energy that truly powers progress. So I'm counting on everyone, staff, commissioners, and the chair at the Energy Commission to keep putting all their might into power and progress into the future and know that we stand behind you in the legislature, and more importantly, the people of California stand with you. So if you keep lighting the way, we'll follow your path. Onward, we'll get through this together. I'm Amory Lovins, uh, co-founder and chairman emeritus of Rocky Mountain Institute, only 38 years old, uh, still collaborating and trustee there and now an adjunct professor of civil and environmental engineering at Stanford and a Precord Institute scholar. A hearty thanks and congratulations to all of you commissioners and staff at the California Energy Commission for your state, national, and global leadership in efficiency and renewables. And I see in the just out uh, IEA Renewables 2020 report that 90% of the net additions of uh, generating capacity in the world this year are renewable. That has your fingerprints all over it, and uh, just the same with efficiency. We have a lot more to do together. I look forward to many years of collaboration and learning from you. Thanks for all your wonderful work. Bye-bye. Happy anniversary, Energy Commission. I'm Kate Gordon. I'm the director of the Governor's Office of Planning and Research, and I'm lucky enough to get to work with the Energy Commission all the time on making sure we meet our climate goals and get clean and affordable and, and accessible energy to Californians. Um, before this job, I was incredibly lucky to chair the Citizens Oversight Board of Prop 39. And in that role, I worked um, continuously with the commission staff on making sure the Prop 39 dollars went out the door to schools across the whole state in every region that needed energy upgrades um, or clean energy systems. And you know, some of these schools hadn't been upgraded for decades and uh, it made a huge difference. And I was just incredibly impressed by the staff expertise and uh, conscientiousness and just the willingness to be there for, for technical assistance for those smaller districts that didn't have a lot of staff. So really just got to see up close and personal how much of a difference it makes. Um, and that the staff makes every day. So thank you for being there for California and for being such great colleagues. Hello, I'm Jack Broadbent, Executive Officer of the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. The California Energy Commission has been a valuable partner over the years on the development of energy efficiency, 
renewable energy measures, and alternative fuels. This includes building sector control measures for our 2017 Clean Air Plan. We look forward to CEC's continued collaboration to achieve building electrification and meet statewide greenhouse gas goals. The Bay Area Air District wishes the California Energy Commission a happy 45th anniversary. Hey there, I'm Bob Raymer with the Building Industry Association wishing the Energy Commission and staff a happy 45th anniversary. I've represented industry before the CEC for the past 40 years, so compared to Bill Pennington, I'm a newbie. Looking back, one of my best memories occurred in May of 2018 when the CEC adopted the solar mandate. News outlets were stunned to find that CBI supported the mandate and as a result, I spent the next three weeks doing interviews with the press. All in all though, it showed that California did not fall into the ocean with a solar mandate and things are working out pretty well. Anyway, congratulations to the CEC on your 45th anniversary. Woo! -hoo!